In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to change the render distance in Roblox Studio. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. You can do this process on any map you have inside of Roblox Studio. As you can see, I'm just going to use this default one as an example. First of all, as you can see, there are houses over there in the distance, there's a bridge and there's a lake over here. If I select the play the map by default without changing any of the variables or settings, you will notice that I can zoom out and I will be able to see everything. So as you can see over my mouse, I can see the bridge, I can see the lake, and I can see the little two houses over there. It's taking a while to load because I have a lot of resources running on the background, but you will be able to see everything on the map, including those two houses I mentioned. Now, let's try lowering the random distance to notice the difference. So, on the Explorer tab at the right side of the screen, select your workspace. As you can see, it's on the top, the first option. When you click the workspace and you go into the properties for the workspace, you will have the streaming option. Select streaming enabled and when you tick this box, you will be able to change the minimum radius and the target radius. You can also change the integrity mode and behavior, but I'm not going to mess with these settings for now. I'm just going to lower the actual radius. I recommend you do your own research if you wish to change these both to see how they influence these settings. So the minimum radius, I'm just going to leave on default and the target radius, I'm going to lower to 128. Now, if I play the map and I give it some time to load, you will notice that those two houses and bridge that we were able to see in the distance will now not be loaded. As you can see, the level of detail on them is very poor because the target radius we set is very low, so they won't be rendered on our screen. This is the only way to change the render distance and lower or make it bigger. As you can see, they are only going to render if I walk towards them over here. And as you can see, the bridge appeared and soon enough, all the two houses will appear over there. Everything is rendering very slowly because like I said, I have a lot of things running on the back of my computer, but you can definitely tell that the render distance was changed and it's now much shorter. You definitely have to walk closer to stuff if you wish to render it. The opposite is also true. You can change the minimum and maximum radius if you wish. I hope I was able to help you on how to change the render distance in Roblox Studio. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.